EdTech is a growing market, but in classrooms all over the world, we are seeing a rise in technology that wasn't originally designed for education. This is great news for us as teachers. It means that we have lots of additional resources, whole sets of flexible and innovative tools that we can use to enhance our teaching practices, further our professional learning, and enhance our students' academic skills. From makerspaces to Minecraft, Snapchat to Sphero, we can greatly expand the arsenal of teaching tools by thinking outside the box. Student interest can lead us to some powerful learning tools, but we also must push beyond engagement or fun and think, how will this help my students learn? Makerspaces are physical hubs or virtual spaces where creative thinkers gather to collaborate, create, and learn from one another. Students love them because they often contain or feature interesting things like 3D printers and craft equipment. But from a learning perspective, they promote concepts like ownership, ingenuity, and problem solving. Social media apps like Snapchat, though attractive to students for their various flattering filters, can be used to build networking and collaboration skills. While utilizing student interest in pop culture can often inform project-based learning that involves research, critical thinking, and media skills. As we experiment, keep our curriculum and learning objectives in mind. Technology is an excellent way to teach critical thinking. When students have to do a research online, they have to evaluate if the resource is reliable and if it's good enough for, to prove a point that they want to make. We need to teach students to evaluate what is true, what is biased, and I think that is something that is important that they have to learn. It's also possible for us to learn from other fields and industries. Many educators are already using the same processes and mindsets as designers and inventors when creating curriculum. We can learn about engagement and community building by looking at how summer camps or churches approach these ideas. We can visit hotel lobbies, hospitals, or office spaces to gather ideas for setting up a more collaborative classroom space. We can model our instructional style on basketball coaches or CEOs. When we look beyond schools and education for inspiration, we can discover new ways of pushing our practice further. There are lots of ways to keep up to date with new technologies and learn new ideas from other educators. Subscribe to free tech blogs, participate in edtech Twitter chats, dive into online PD courses, attend events, or set up a tech group in our school to share ideas with colleagues. That way, we can see how teachers have used Minecraft to teach students about history, or Sphero to build core and STEM skills in students. We don't need to be experts to adapt non-educational tech in the classroom. Start by thinking about tech in our lives, how our family and friends use tech, and how we can bring that into the classroom. Thank <laughs> you.